G'day! In today's video, I'm just going to quickly show you how to reset a ROG Ally. This will completely clear everything that's on here and in turn will make it fresh for the next person. Or if you just want to spruce it up and clean it up, that will also do the job fine. First of all, we want to sign in, click on the start button, click up here, and we want to type in reset. And it comes up as reset this PC. Tap on that, We're full screen. We want to reset this PC, yes. We want to remove everything. And from there, I'm just going to go local reinstall. If not, I'll go cloud and connect up with Wi Fi, but I'll go local to begin with. And go next. It does want power plugged in. So make sure you've got that plugged in. Where are we? There we go. And then from here, we wait. Go, reset, preparing. And now we play the waiting game. So after about 20 minutes or so, we're now at the initial setup screen. But right now, I'm not too sure what the controls are gonna be for this. So I will be plugging in a USB keyboard with a OTG to Type-C adapter. That will, uh, should enable me to use my keyboard. There will be a certain point where it wants to connect to a network right here, which I do not want to do. I do not want to make a Microsoft account. So I'm gonna plug this in. Hopefully, with my blue, my keyboard here, I'll move this up, I should be able to go Function, Shift, F10. So from there, I went Shift, F10, or Function, Shift, F10. And with this command, OOBE slash Bypass NRO. With that, it will restart it, and it will enable me to continue setting up the ROG Ally without needing to put a Microsoft account on there. That's the same command that I use for every Windows, pretty much Windows 10, insta oh, 10 and 11 installation, or Windows 11 installation. And that enables me to be able to not set up an account on there, and it just has a simple offline account. Or well, an offline account, not an online account. So you don't require any Microsoft details to be able to set it up. But from here, basically you should just be able to follow the rest of the install. So that little command I do find does help. You might want to use your Windows account or Microsoft account on there. But personally, I would rather not. I will proceed along. And once we get past just a moment, we should be able to proceed. I'll just clear my finger off the screen now. Now I'm just going to use my keyboard as it will be quicker for me to do this. Your, depending on what keyboard you want and also your region, those details may be different for you. I'm doing a whole bunch of tab keys right now. And I'm going to call this Rick's Ally. do. No password. When I turn it on, I just want it to go in. I like turning these off as I don't really require them. Next. Next. Here we go.
Not sure what else is going to pop up here. I'm going to assume Armory Crate's going to come up, or at least it's going to ask to update it. I guess we'll find out in a little bit of time. But right now, this all seems to be a very standard Windows installation. So far, apart from the ASUS warranty information that popped up, everything else is very standard. And now we do look to have Armory Crate installed. Are the functions of it going to work? No, I think we're going to have to connect to the internet first. I know, brilliant. It is going. We don't have to worry about reinstalling it. So from here, I'm going to connect this up to the internet and get it to do some Windows updates if there's any available for it. And just double check the drivers and proceed to use it from there. Anyway, I hope this helped reinstall or at least factory reset your ROG Ally. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.